The legendary family of headphones that's become the Sennheiser HD 600 family, currently comprised of the Sennheiser HD 600, the HD 650, and the new HD 660S, these actually started with the Sennheiser HD 580 nearly 25 years ago back in 1993. Now within the audiophile community, this family of headphones has become among the most popular and the most well-regarded family of headphones of the past 25 years. I know there are many of you watching this who've owned the HD 600, the HD 650, or both. You probably still own them. Well, today, Mastrop will be announcing still another headphone collaboration with Sennheiser. It'll be the newest, most affordable, most efficient member of this family of headphones, and it's called the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee. Now, if the name Jubilee sounds familiar to you in the context of Sennheiser, then I know you've been around for a while. Again, this family of headphones started with the HD580 in 1993, and that HD580 looked a lot like this family of headphones does today, except that it had plastic grills. Now, a couple of years later, in 1995, Sennheiser released a special version of the HD580 as part of their 50th anniversary celebration. It was called the Sennheiser HD580 Jubilee. That version of the HD580 had metal grills, and that metal grilled version, the HD580 Jubilee, would become the HD600. So is this new Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee a reincarnation of the old HD580 Jubilee? No, but its name is obviously an homage to it. Now I'm told the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee uses a new driver Sennheiser hasn't used in a headphone before, so that's actually pretty exciting. Mastrop worked closely with Axel Grell from Sennheiser on the HD58X Jubilee. A lot of you know Axel Grell. He's an engineer with deep experience developing headphones, and he's the manager of Sennheiser's audiophile product portfolio. The original HD580 was one of his products, as were the HD600, 650, 660S, 800, 800S, and many more Sennheiser headphones. Axel was also one of the key figures behind the creation of what's still the best sounding headphone I've ever heard, the Sennheiser HE1. I also consider Axel Grell one of my mentors, one of the people I've talked to and learned from as we built our own audio measurement lab here at HeadFi headquarters over the last few years. Mastrop worked with Axel for the HD6XX and now this HD58X Jubilee. But where the HD6XX is essentially an HD650 in Mastrop livery, the HD58X Jubilee, as I stated earlier, incorporates a driver into the platform that we haven't seen or heard before. Other than that, all I know about the drivers in the HD58X Jubilee is that they're 38 millimeters in diameter versus 40 millimeters for all the other models. What was Mastrop and Sennheiser's goal with the HD58X Jubilee? Essentially, it was to add a new entry-level model to this family of headphones. Now, the HD58X is going to be on sale at Mastrop soon for only $150, so it'll also be the most affordable model in the family. Now, they also wanted this headphone to be efficient so that more people could enjoy the legendary family sound with greater flexibility as far as amplification and device compatibility goes. Based on our measurements, they've done that too, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, at such an affordable price, the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee will also be a lower-risk platform for DIY headphone modification projects if you're so inclined. Not surprisingly, where Mastrop's concerned, the HD58X Jubilee has a black colorway. It almost looks like the new HD660S, but in a glossy black instead of matte. It even has the Sennheiser logo offset to one side on the headband like the 660S does. Now, the grill is a nice dark gray or gunmetal color, a little lighter in color than the HD650's grills, and it all comes together to make an attractive headphone with an aesthetic unique to the HD58X. The HD58X will ship with a 6-foot cable terminated in a 3.5mm gold-plated stereo mini plug with a quarter-inch adapter included. So where sonically does the HD58X fit in? To my ears, the HD58X has a leaner sound than the HD650 or HD6XX. If for any reason you felt the sound of those headphones too rich or too thick, then the HD58X might be right up your alley. Also, the HD58X's treble is more energetic than the Sennheiser HD650 or 6XX. Again, if you felt the HD650 or 6XX a bit too treble tame for you, too polite up top, then again, the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee might just be your cup of tea. While it's not more detailed up top than the Sennheiser HD650, it does present more treble energy comparatively. I would say to my ears that the HD58X is the brightest of the models in the family, but listening to it makes clear that it is a member of that family. Versus the new Sennheiser HD660S, which has to my ears more treble shimmer than the HD650 or 6XX, but also more resolution up top to me, the HD58X Jubilee still has the brighter signature, which is perhaps made a bit more prominent due to its comparatively more tame bass. Again, I'd say on balance, the 58X Jubilee is the member of the family with the most forward treble presentation, even in comparison to the 660S or the older HD600. Across the rest of the audio spectrum, it brings in sonic elements from its siblings, but on balance may sound the least like any of them as a whole. So who would I recommend the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee to? 
Well, it's a solid entry-level headphone for someone who hasn't yet entered the world of audiophile headphones. And even for those of you who have the Sennheiser HD650 or 6XX, or even the Sennheiser HD660S, the HD58X Jubilee is a relatively inexpensive option to round out your stable. Now, as audiophiles go, I've got a touch of bass head in me, so it's not my first choice of the family. But it's an easy recommendation at only $150 if what I've described sounds like it matches up with your sonic preferences. Also, as I mentioned earlier, something else that helps the HD58X as an entry-level model is that it's the most sensitive in the family. We measured the sensitivity of the HD650 at around 104 decibels at 1 volt RMS at 1 kilohertz. The HD660S is more sensitive than that at around 109 decibels at 1 volt, and the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee is the most sensitive at over 110 decibels at 1 volt at 1 kilohertz. Again, this should help with device matchup and will likely be the easiest of the family to drive. Like the HD660S, the HD58X Jubilee also has 150 ohm nominal impedance versus 300 ohms for the HD600 and 650 and 6XX. This may also help with versatility. Simply put, the Mastrop Sennheiser HD58X Jubilee is the newest member of a legendary family of headphones that are all built on a time-tested platform. That you can enter this family now for only $150 is fantastic news. Anyway, look for the drop to happen soon on Mastrop.com. Thanks for watching this episode of HeadFi TV. We'll see you next time.